spirit of the yes, living God. God in you. Greater is God in you than everything outside of you. I command you to rest in the spirit of the living God that abides, moves, and lives in you. Yes, God. Every opposing force dissipates. Jesus, thank you, God. Every opposing force dissipates now. Every opposing force dissipates. 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 And then a moment later, got the issue go to the humble boots of the buyer. Thank you, God. Souls arise. Thank you, God. Arise from the north, the south, east, and west. I call you forth out of bonds now. And they get saved. I come to ocean out of my hand. I call for souls now. I command you release from the bondage of the enemy in all areas. I command you release. I command you release. I command you release. Release! Every chain, every chain, I command it broken. I got my high, I command every chain broken. In the name of our Lord Jesus, every chain broken in my I command the people of God go forth free from the from the entrapments of the enemy in the name of our God. Somebody declares so it is. So it is. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. 
ने क्यों कहा थैंक यू का थैंक यू का
let it go. Your struggle days are over. Yes, God. Thank you, God. As you have forgiven them, so have I forgiven you. Thank you, God. As you have forgiven them, so have I forgiven you. Thank you, God. Therefore, you're free to arise. Yes, God. Thank you. And go forward. As I have intended you before the foundation of the world. No more limits. Thank you, God. No more limits. And so it is. And so it is. So it is. Thank you, God. So it is. So it is. And so it is. So it is. Put your hands up and tell him thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, it's for you. Yes, it's for you, too. Thank you, God. It's for you, too. Oh, yes, God. Thank you, God. All on the internet is for you, too. Thank you, God. Receive it. Get in the receiving mode and receive it. Don't let it pass. Thank you, God. This is not tradition. This is not Ooh, religion. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. This is God himself. Thank you, God. 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 Leave the rest behind. Thank you, God. And go forth. Thank you, God. 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 Jesus. Lord, thank, you. thank you, God. Because he's so mindful of you. Thank you, God. People. Yes, thank you. But he said at the same time, you got to get mindful of him. Thank you, God. You gotta be willing to do whatever it takes. You gotta look at a thing and you gotta weigh it out. You gotta say, is it worth it? You're gonna have to choose your battles and know what battle you're choosing. You're gonna have to know. You're gonna have to know because God said you are to grow. Yes. Your stunted, my God, midget days are no more. Amen. You cannot remain a midget. Amen. You cannot remain stuck in your growth. Amen. God says too many of his people are way behind. He said, but he can't grow you beyond your nutrition. Babies have to be nourished to their growth. Have to be nourished. Even in the womb, they have to be nourished. They have prenatal care. They have to be nourished. They have to be treated. You have to be mindful of what you're saying. You have to be mindful because they're hearing everything. You're birthing them out. You're bringing them out. And 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 and, and I hear him continuously saying that what you put your mind to, where the mind goes, energy flows. Yeah. Y'all write this down. Y'all got to keep up with some of this stuff. Thank y'all for taking it because uh, this prayer is going to affect a lot of people. Yes. A lot of people going to be affected by this prayer because people are seeking to get out. A lot of people don't know how to get out. But God said, this night I have set you free. Yes, God. Thank you. If you are willing 
to do it and go, willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the lamb. But you're going to have to walk it out without looking back. Mm -hmm. Can't be concerned about buddies and friends and all that kind of stuff that has held you hostage and kept you down for so long. God said, I'm trying to get you to a place and you are. Y'all got to catch this stuff. Y'all write it down, record it, do whatever you need to do so you can have this stuff. Because you can't afford to just sit up in church another year and end the year the same. You don't even have a week. You can know. It don't listen. Listen. And immediately, yes, sir. they were healed. Yes. Immediately, they were made whole. Yes. What causes that? Faith. 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 Now, faith is. Yes, sir. A lot of people are not in faith. They left faith. They left faith. They left faith. A lot of God's people have left faith. That's the most dangerous thing in the world. Walk away from faith and turn back to flesh. It's dangerous. So where all I'm do all I'm doing is depending on this outside system. I, the devil is a liar. People are finding out everywhere that there is more to this life than running around depending on these this outside stuff. Got people, uh, I listened to a man yesterday, a billionaire, got all the money in the world. He said, but he realized he still was not connected where he needed to be. He felt stunted as a billionaire. He said when he discovered that the spirit of God abides in him and there is no limits there, he said he took his business to another level. But before that, he was as far as he could go. He couldn't go anywhere else. Brothers and sisters, everybody, don't let everybody get it and you still on the same boat. Hello. Going nowhere. Don't let everybody be moving and advancing and you still on the back seat. Everybody growing, everybody back. People being blessed, healed, delivered, set free. Man, I could I could give you praise reports of people that right right here in the midst of us. Some of them not here tonight, but but they got they have been blessed like everything in the past week. Yeah. And some of us still on the I'm going through this. I don't care where you at. You got to know. That if I keep my eye on my Father God, yes, I'm coming out. There is nothing out here that can hold a person that is focused on their God. Nothing. Nothing. And that's what moves me about this, these certain groups of people that don't even have the benefit of the United States of America. $4.20 a week is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a statistical uh, wage. And, and, and man just built a $3 million edifice. Build a resort on nothing. When you, when you connect properly to the spirit God inside you, brothers and sisters, everything changes. Stop depending on a job. Stop depending on the welfare. Stop depending on friends and buddies and family. Abraham had to get out from amongst his kindred. God called him out. He said, I can't bless you and get you where I need you to get if you're going to hang out up in there. Sometimes you got to be willing to just take that risk. I, I can't stay up in here and die. I'm going to have to take a chance. I'm going to have to do whatever I got to do because I cannot afford to sit around another day and lose. Amen. Not even 24 hours. I don't have 24 hours to lose. Amen. But in order for anything to take place, it's going to come from your consciousness. 
You can't feed the devil all day and expect God to, to bring the breakthrough. You can't argue and complain and be going through all the time. You, you're showing exactly where you are. People that talk that language, the Bible says life and death is in your tongue. I don't care what you're going through. You can't sit around and talk about it all day. Amen. But y'all got to come on here. Amen. Every man is where he or, or she says she is. I don't care how you talk about God. God is a spirit force. God is not a man that, that people be trying to make him like he's just sitting somewhere somewhere. No, 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 no. God is a spiritual force of energy. And you can shift him at any moment. Why? Because he is the breath in you. You're taking his breath and creating a cemetery or you're taking his breath and creating a mansion. Is what you're doing with the breath. He, he breathed the breath. Oh, my But you got to know this. Watch this. I want to do it in New Living, but first I want to hit this out of the King James. I want to hit that first verse out of King James. That first verse, four and one Galatians. Y'all lost it. Come on back. We here. Amen. Y'all come on back. We here. Four and one. Watch this. I'm show you something. Now I say that the air. The air, are y'all gonna listen to me or the baby? The air, watch this. Who is the air? Oh Lord, you in trouble. You in trouble, baby. If you don't know, you in trouble right now. And you talking about Jesus and you say you got all that? And you don't know you an heir? Oh, you already slave. You need some help. You making my word show up, show up. Praise Jesus. But you getting up. Slap that one next to you and tell them, oh, yeah, you getting up. I command you to rise. I command that soul in you to prosper. You ain't laying around here laying no more. Talk to him. Tell him. Get yourself up. He said that the heir, as long as he is a child, deferred nothing from a servant, though he be, watch this, Lord of all. Who? Though he be Lord of all. If you don't take it when you're being taught and utilize it, honey, you will remain a slave. He said, it is uh, but is un he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. You can't put a driver's license in a baby's hand. I know some people try it. They, they suffer because of it. But no. Because he don't know what he's doing. Though he's Lord of everything you have. But he ain't ready for it. Oh, y'all that man. <laughs> he ain't ready for it. I had a friend of mine. He was an Italian guy. And at this time, it was high school. He was in high school. And, and he took me to his house. Showed me his house. A big old house out on Corey Road. And, and he talked about his inheritance. He was an heir of everything that his father had. His father was a traveling accountant for big corporate businesses. And he, he talked about this stuff. He talked about it. He talked about it. He's an heir of all of it, but didn't know nothing about any of it. And then he turned around and said he didn't even care to have it. I looked at him, I said, well, you know what, you, you, you don't really understand right now. I said, because number one, I will trade with you. Right now. 
See, see, you, you are Esau, and here comes Jacob. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, that birthright. See, see, you, you, you will just give your stuff away because you don't realize the value. And a lot of people don't realize the value, and 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 and, and you have the teacher that's trying to teach you to because he's telling you, except you get under the tutoring and learn it. Listen, you will remain a slave, though you are Lord, belong to the Lord, but the earth hath He given to who? The children of men. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all got that. Say it again. The children of men. Say it again. The children of men. You don't have to be scared. These people, look, that man get on TV and say this whole world is his and don't flinch. But you start around and, and, and tell you, you sit there and be, like God going to just strike you or something. A thunder like going <laughs> to hit you across the head. Or Baby, if you don't break yourself out of this stuff, and know what God said about if I'm an heir of God. I'm an heir of God. Wait a minute. If I am an heir of God uh -huh. and my God owns it all, uh -huh. then why am I afraid Come on now. to talk about my inheritance? Yes. He said, this earth he's given to you, Carlo. Mark, which one is he? Which one is he? Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> the earth. See, listen. He don't want. Listen. Listen. I'm a father. I don't want my kids worrying about nothing. Now, if I got that much sense, imagine what my heavenly father. Thinks about it. But if you don't receive the tutor, go to class. You're in class right now. Mm -hmm. But you got to take the class with you. Mm -hmm. You can't leave the class here. You got to take the class with you. You, you. You're not just trying to get a certificate to say you graduated. Uh -huh. No, you want to know everything about your inheritance. Because this is mine. And I got to know what to do with it. Amen. He took me He took me down. And he told me. He said, he said, think about people hit the lottery. Think about people hit the lottery. Think about people hit the lottery. For millions of dollars. And 98% of them are in a worse shape. Within the first three years than they were before they got any of it. Because if you have not been tutored about a million dollars, if you don't have a mindset about a million dollars and what to do with a million dollars, a million dollars will kill you. Oh man, I wish I had somebody. Yes, yeah, sir. A million dollars will kill you. You, baby, listen here. This is why you have to go to the spirit. You have to go into the class so you can learn about this. And it opens up. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing. I'm being taught. And my faith is coming up. And I will know why. Because I'm seeing myself with it right now. And you're teaching me how to utilize it. Oh, y'all better come on. Teach it. You're teaching me how to utilize it. So I don't go out here and squander with prodigal son. Give me my portion. All I want is my portion. Just give me, just give me my stuff. Just give me my stuff. But he don't have a clue what to do with the stuff. That yeah, it's yours. Here, you can have it. But it'll kill you. And you will be running back to Papa mm -hmm. to help you out. Yeah. Oh, y'all better catch up. So he went out there and wound up slaving in the pole kitchen. For 50 cents and some change on the table. And started thinking, the servants in my daddy's house. Who? Doing better than I am. I'm out here in slum and dishes. Pig stock, 
cleaning toilets. Listen, I'm working for people where people should be working for me. I should be hiring people. My daddy hired people. I'm supposed to be hiring people, providing jobs for people. Instead, my name is Jim. I think, oh, you got any spare change? Spare change. You got any spare change? Got any spare change? Spare change. Spare change. Man, you're a lord over food. You are a lord of all of it. But you got to sit in the class and be taught and take the class with you. I will never, ever be broke another day in my life. jumping up and they would come back down and jump up and I'm like this is something new <laughs> so it's a little by little 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 stuff pops up to let me know stuff that's on the car that I didn't know mm -hmm. okay. yeah. mm -hmm. you, you, you have to take time and get the videos watch the video right. so you can find out about your vehicle they put all the stuff on now. Yeah. You got the book, big old fat book sitting up in the glove box taking up all the space. <laughs> <laughs> this time, this time, this time, this time I'm going to put it on your heart. Right. Come on now, come on. I'm putting it on your hard drive. So there's no reason. Y'all better come on. Yeah. I, 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 I'm like a hands-on person. Mm -hmm. You put me in front of it and show me what to do. I got you. Yep. As opposed to you got to read a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'll figure it out. Just put it down there. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If I get the leg wrong, I'll go back and pull get it off. Back put on. it back on right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you, you're willing to do whatever it takes and get this thing together because you don't want to sit around. Man, I, 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 I sent James a, 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 a picture. Because, see, see, I'm one of the good see, I am. When I'm working too hard on stuff, I, all of a sudden I, I, I go, wait a minute, you listen, you will not defeat me. And, and I'm talking to the light. In my house. Listen here. <laughs> I tell you, y'all you better learn how to talk to stuff. I know that's what it is. I was talking to the bowling lane pen last night. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got ears. Yep. Yep. They know that I sit up and talk to stuff. I don't care. I talk to stuff. Stop talking to you. Right. What you got to learn how to do is talk back. That's right. That's right. Tell you where you can go. How far? Well, you can't go for two miles now. No, you ain't no vacation this year. See how y'all y'all catch it? But see, you gotta do that when you leave here. That's right. <laughs> you can't sit up and be at home and all of a sudden he start talking and you saying amen. And first thing he tell you that stuff he's talking, you know that ain't nothing but a bunch of hype now. Don't believe that. 
And then you go and start talking to your curs and them. And your curs and them don't be more believe in nothing. And you telling them, now, now they got you convinced that it really ain't real. Yeah. Now you just on the losing end and mad at God. For what? It isn't God's fault. You tell your secret to no man. Some people don't understand this. Don't go and try to explain. Lekoro Shariah. Jacob, Jacob had to be the one to go get him out. When he, he learned the dream he had about that coat, he learned because they tried to kill him. Try to kill him. People, uh, Joseph, I'm sorry, y'all got it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Thank y'all. But they, they want to kill his own family. Come on, Bishop. Siblings. They don't care. See, you got to know, you can't be running around telling everything. Another scripture says you can't even let the left hand know what your right hand, hand doing. doing. That's right. Because there's some stuff that you're activating faith. You can't tell the other part. Right. You got to work the system and let everything else catch up. How did that happen? Huh. My father. Yeah. My father. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rockefeller. Who made you rich? How'd you get so much money? God made me rich. That's what he would say all the time. Go back and look up some of his stuff. He would say all the time, God made me rich. God made me rich. But see, they trying to get him to come down to intellect to give them a diagram. See, they don't want you to say, God made me rich. God made me rich. God made me rich. Because when you discover, brothers and sisters, you ain't going outside of what he said. You're going with what he said. I'm Lord of all. So I need this class. I ain't got time for none of them basic elementaries of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Them days over. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pray for me. Do you hear me? Because this woman turned around and said, she came to the conclusion, if I told y'all who she was here, the last one y'all know. She said, why do I dress up every week and go in there and sit there for him to tell me what's wrong and what I'm doing wrong and I ain't never worth nothing and I'll never be. Why, what, why do I get dressed up to go sit up in there every Sunday to hear that for? She said she realized something was wrong. Get up. And she said it made so much sense. So she took and started her living room. And she took the Bible. She told everyone that came. She said, listen, if you're not going to agree with the reality of the Bible, they ain't no need of you coming. No, no, that's right. So she started off with, she said, three of them. Was willing to walk in there with their Bible to see what she was going to say. In about a month, the living room was way too small. She had on the big, big mansions. And she grew on out into another building. But people, listen, people are tired of being slaves. That's why they just turn around and say, what am I going to church for? Mm. Mm. Ain't nothing changing in my life. Nothing. And every time everything come out of here, all they do is tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm never good enough. Now, I've been there all to a hundred thousand times. And I'm still not. When is it going to shift for me? So after a while, he said, hey, you know, heck, heck with that. Praise <laughs> <coughs> Jesus. And I get to, you get to hear some of these people talk about, like the woman I talked about, took them, took them kids out of that orphanage and started feeding them of who they are from the word of God. She quoted it to them and telling them, this is who you are. And she just tell them, tell them, tell them. And now all of them are millionaires running their own businesses. Got orphanages where they're going to get other kids. And they're doing the same thing that lady did for them. Amen. See, this is, if you ain't, listen, listen. If people come around you for a period of time and 
start getting up, baby, look at Look at here. Something else going to have to happen. I can't have folk hanging up on me and, and, and you, you ain't getting up. I, I got a big problem with that. Praise Jesus. Amen. I told a person that the other day and he just looked at me. He said, I'm sorry, Bishop. I'm sorry. I said, well, I'm, I'm not trying to beat you up, but I just got to tell you. Something's supposed to be changing if you're going to come around here with me. Praise the Lord. You come around and, and you ain't never got nothing. You need somebody to pay for everything all the time. And you ain't never. Listen, that, you might do that the first couple times. But you ain't supposed to stay like that. Y'all don't like me. I'm going to let y'all go. Because if you grab hope, listen, the oil that's running down Aaron's beard should be affecting your life. Lock that. Listen, you ain't leave me. I'm going with you. I I'm going with you. And he was blessed. Because apparently he believed in it. And when people really believe in you, when they come around you, they can't stay down because they really believe in you. That's why Lazarus was able to get up. Because he had a high faith in Jesus. So though he died and was wrapped up in that tomb, with that big old stone over him, all Jesus had to do was say, Lazarus! He, he wasn't concerned about him getting up. He already knew. Why? Because when people really got faith in you, they can't stay down. Potiphar could not stay down. We need Joseph. Oh, God, am I helping anybody? And if everybody's draining from you and they never imparting into you, then something got to happen here. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hurt both feelings, so you just got to kind of ease up. Praise the Lord. Because you know that. Is supposed to be causing a shift in their lives. Mm -hmm. Like my one partner said, if, if, listen, he, he said if my, my own partner, people that's on my, my team and they he said if them people aren't getting up and he said they got a problem. Somewhere in them, they got a problem with me. Because if you release everything in you negative about me and only see God, there's no reason you can't get up. But when people got foggy stuff in them, they can't get up. They sit around, listen to people, they talk and talk to people sit around and conversate, and you think it's gonna help you. It's not gonna help you. You talk about your teacher all day long, you think it's gonna benefit you. And then you go, they show up and then you be, oh, I just love you, lie. <laughs> Why call me Lord, Lord? Praise Jesus. Y'all praying for me? <laughs> Jesus even said, I went to my own. They, not. they don't believe in you. A lot of people follow. They don't really believe. But if a person exit out everything in them and know and believe that person to be sent by God, you will get showered on like everything. Amen. Paul said, you follow me as I follow Christ. And when you follow him as he followed Christ, there's no way you can't be blessed. Amen. He ain't got to say a word. Stuff just happened. Ooh, just happened. Why? Because the anointing is there. It's present. Are y'all still here? Yes. We got to be running around acting religious and, and, and going sanctimonious all. And, uh, people think that that's spirit. The devil is a liar. Stop it. You better crack a joke or say something. And, and you, you better just, y'all better come on here. Jesus knew that. <laughs> and everywhere he went, people were healed, blessed, delivered, and set free. Everywhere. And he had to run around with the same demonious stuff that people run around with trying to make like look like. Jesus didn't have to do that. When you know who you are, and see, this thing is supposed, to tri it's supposed to have a trickling effect. I'm getting ready to get out of here and let y'all go. It's supposed to be a trickling effect. 
And it's supposed to keep going. It don't even supposed to stop at you. People come around you and they're supposed to get affected. And stuff start working for them. Just like it's working for you. And then they get out there and stuff work for other people. This is, this is a trickling effect. But if you're going to be filled with all the outside, I don't care how you come in and try to throw on the front, it ain't going to work. Come on. You just well be real about it. Are y'all still here? Yes. Give me two minutes. Don't exit. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I decree and declare yes, that every word spoken in the name of our God. Yes enters within you and causes your life to come up in all the areas. Yes, physically, sir. spiritually, and financially. Yes. I decree and declare everything that concerns you turns from your fellowship with the Spirit of the living God in this house. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Everything dead gets off of you, gets away from you, and it goes among the dead where it belongs. And life arises from you. And you grow forward in every step. If they don't receive you, shake the dust and keep on walking. Don't let people, you ain't got no time to sit around here and let folk kill you. They're not worth it. You got to come back and bless them. And you're going to let them kill you. God didn't put you there to, to, to die. He didn't put you there to die. You don't get in nothing that God leads you to that he don't lead you through. But there's a mission that you're on and he expects you to win. Because that's the way I will get their attention. But if you go in there and they make you lose, then I lost their attention. That wasn't why you went. You know my life. Oh God, I'm about to go crazy. You know that Bahai. You know I'm the Rosa. I say that Bahai. The Rosa that Bahai de Lagos. He said, "Na na masakata. No man in any city that Bahai. No man in any city. None of you leave here." With stress, depression of any sort. None of you leave here with any worry. You on the internet, it's over. Thank you, God. You have come before me, and I'm getting you up. Your slave days are over. Thank you, God. You open your mouth and you talk to whatever you need to talk to. Any opposing stuff that sit up and oppose you, talk back. Yes. Don't sit there and let cat, as they used to say to us, the cat got your tongue. <laughs> you didn't probably say that no more, but whatever they say now, but back then, the cat got your tongue. Yeah. No, you ain't gonna sit there and let no cat, dog, <laughs> bird, fish, wherever, whatever the thing is. The righteous, oh God, are bold. That's a lion. That's a lion. Yeah. And you ain't flint. I know that's right. I hollered so loud one time out there last night, and everybody in the boat. Oh my God. I told Jane and him, I said, I sent blessing down there. He kept on smiling. Said blessing down there. You bless and curse not. Yes. Yes. Because whatever you send out is coming back. That's right. So if you curse back, curse at them, guess what's coming yes. back? Yes. Ain't no blessing in that. So I'm going to bless you. Hallelujah. I'm down a bowl, won't you shut up? God bless you. Amen. And you keep moving. Mm -hmm. Went on, had a good game. And enjoy them, brother. See, this is how you go. You don't let everything just grab you and tear you apart. Talk back. You ain't broke. You rich. Get your family together. Where are we going? Where are we going? 
go to man, go to man that. Uh, uh, last week I, I said he was talking about, you know, he, him going to the place, to this place, but he said he never could uh, could afford to get there. He said, always one of us say, let me stop, let me free something for you. I want to help you get there. I said, I declare, if you bring me some dates, I'm going to help you get there. And you going, you and your family this year. That man brought me them dates last night. I said, okay, I'm going to bring stuff back to you. You're going. And that man looked at me. See, you can't sit there. Open your mouth. Yes, sir. I ain't got no gas. Well, you ain't going to have nothing. You calling it. You talking that stuff. I turned around and told God. I said, look here, God, you gave me this car. I don't care where them gas prices go. I will always have a full tank of gas. Because you gave me this car. You dropped that girl off at the store, drove over there to that pump, and guess what? Pulled my car out to get ready to pull it in, and the thing telling me to pump. I'm like, God, you working that fast? Just show me. <laughs> I put my car back in my pocket. I took that thing off there and I put it in it and I filled up my tank. And then when I heard a lot of bleeping over the next pump over, I looked over there and I said, you know what? I think I got y'all gas. The lady put it over here and I just filled my tank up with it, but I will pay for yours. The manager came out of the place. She said, no, you won't because that was my mistake. I will take care of that and said, thank you for your heart of honesty. You see how God will do you? You ain't got to be no con and do no hustling. You ain't got to do none of that. All you do is step in the name of your God and represent him. Just be him everywhere you go. And he'll fix that thing for you. Who you trust in? If you trust in your daddy, if you know he's made you Lord of it all, then you, why you got to be stealing from yourself? Jesus. I used to tell my kids that all the time in my house. I don't know if anybody else do that. I said, when y'all steal out of here, y'all stealing from y'all Come on, Bishop. That wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't me. 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 But it, but it was just something that was just, you know, and you would just throw it out there. You steal, you steal it from yourself. And I told somebody else that, I said, don't you know, when you're stealing out of your house, don't you know you steal it from yourself? That's the way it is with your dad. You're lord of it all. You don't have to go around with all that. Said, Whatever the people do, that's their business. It ain't you. God got a better system for you. I don't want my kids go out here and have to hustle for nothing. Amen. Go out here and got to steal anything. Amen. Con anybody out of whatever. Amen. You don't need no change. Yeah. Jesus. Praise Jesus. No, your scuffling days are over. All you got to do is get in here and, 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 and when I come to class, I'm coming into this class to be taught. And I'm going to get on that internet and I'm going to get this stuff and pull this stuff back up because I need it more than just here. I got to get it on there. Amen. Give me YouTube, Tony Winfrey. Amen. Subscribe, like and subscribe. Tony Winfrey, W-I-N-F-R-E-E, T-O-N-Y, Tony. <laughs> Instagram, Tony. <laughs> Amen. Look me up on there. You got to get this stuff. Facebook, Mr. T.I. Winfrey. What's the other one? Faith. Uh, space M I. Another one is uh, T I something. What is it? T I W Winfrey. Help me out. Amen. And uh, Bishop Winfrey. Got four of them on Facebook. Amen. This 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 is too big to sit in the wall. That's right. Did y'all see that picture I put up on the internet? Yes. Y'all pull up Facebook. It's on there. One message attract 46,000 people. These people are so hungry for the real stuff. 
your hand-me-down days are over. Good. Your hand-me-down days are over. You go get a hand-me-down if you want. Not because you have to. That's right. You're Lord of it all. And the Father said, I'm going to teach you. You come in here and let me continue to teach you. I'm going to teach you how to work it. Go be a blessing to other people. That's right. I take bags and stuff to them places. All my stuff is good. I ain't got no junk. I bag it up. I take it to them places give it to them. Amen. So let somebody else be blessed off of it. Because as I receive, I got to also give. Amen. Amen. I ain't sitting up trying to be whores and stuff. I take Amen. suits and all, shoes, everything. That, that right family messed me up with them LeBron. James shoes. Gave me my first pair of LeBron James shoes. And I got who? Now I got four pairs. <laughs> because what? When you get the good stuff, That's it. she don't want that now. Sure. So now I bag up stuff. <laughs> Here goes some more. And you do that with every elevation. Get out of the change jar. <laughs> <laughs> if you get it in here, it'll be a track to you. All you gotta do is go in here. Go in. I told my wife, I said, listen at the, uh, the news because I got an investment report that said that the Dow Jones did another record high on the coronavirus. See, yeah. one man trash. There's another man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, you can't get caught up in the noise uh -huh. and miss the blessing. That's right. yeah. I had an email that came to me Sunday night and gave me a tip. And I said, thank you, Father. And I took about uh, X amount of dollars and I invest. Mm -hmm. And today, bam, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Praise right. Jesus. Yeah. When you clear, you can hear. Yeah. That's a tweet. Mm -hmm. That's a tweet. That's a tweet. When you're clear, you can hear. There you go. Tweet, tweet that for somebody else. You can't else stay tweet. stuck in the noise. Right. That's yours. I'm mad at everybody. You stop. Let that go. Because other people are being blessed out of noise. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Noise for folk that don't know who they are. Because they always get tangled up in it. But smart people sit back. There's a message in this mess. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. Bam! There it is. Okay, I know what to do. God will direct your path if you let it. You don't have to be anxious for nothing. You're not to be anxious for nothing. You're his child. When you're clear, you can hear. Yeah. Somebody else working and scuffling. I didn't have to work for that. Time. I just heard, I got a tip, and I invest. And the money's working for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish I want you to close out some of the other investments and, and put biggest of your eggs over there. And just leave a couple of them over there. So yes, sir, it makes sense to me. So now I got all of that that's coming down. See, you got to learn how to work this stuff. But see, you got to be around people to talk it. Mm -hmm. right. See, I don't, I don't know all the language and all that stuff, but I can hear. Y'all see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, 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 keyboard player. Can I just use that? I'm, I'm going to let y'all go home because I'm going to bore y'all no longer. Why are you going to all this stuff? Because God is trying to let you know you're more blessed than what you allow yourself to be. When, when the musicians left the church that I was playing at, we didn't have no musician. And a little bit that I played, everything was in a seat. Everything was in a seat. Choir director tell me, that's not right. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> then I just stopped because all I heard, everything was a seat. Everything was a C. Everything was a C. Then in the midst of one service, 
I had a sharp ring in my ear. And when it left, I could hear everything. Got on there. Go to a C sharp, there I am. E flat, there I am. B flat, there I am. F sharp, here I am. Whatever, here I am, because I can hear it now. I was in school for music and couldn't get it. Failed class, couldn't get it. But Holy Spirit, see, that's how you got it. Second grade people out here, billionaires, don't even have all that knowledge. They ain't go to college and get all that. But they can hear. Once you can hear, it's over. God give you one idea. Okay. I don't want to keep you all into this. Because I can go with this stuff for hours. Because God is so trying to wake his people up. And you can't be bored and sit around and say, oh, God, I wish he heard of. I don't want to be here. Hungry people be like, mm -mm, don't stop. Amen. Don't stop. Amen. Amen. At one tape I've been playing since last week. Turn the thing on and play over and it just keep repeating over and over and over. You keep repeating, keep repeating. Why? Because you keep hearing, 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 you get direction, you get another. Faith comes by. Amen. 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 They told me I'm not going to give you the right information. Amen. And people tell me all this stuff about the West. I don't never lock into that. Whatever it is, I don't lock into it because I got a voice. If y'all can believe that, then I can believe what I believe. I thank you for clearance in the atmosphere. I thank you all as well for this city. I had to go with all that. And you just, well, you call it whatever you want to. Amen. But if a man in this Bible can turn around and say, it will not rain till I say so, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be stupid just like that. Yeah. And you can turn up and stuff will turn around and stop and freeze where, right where it is. You'd be like, oh, what just happened here? <laughs> you go from faith to faith to faith to faith to faith, but you got to stay in it. You can't be wishy-washy and, and let everything get you out. Lock in and don't get on. Buckle from it. Stay there. I love y'all. Were y'all blessed tonight? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go blessed. Amen. Amen. You go home tonight and just give yourself some time to just get focused. Because God got a plan. I don't care what's going on. When word has been prophesied over your life, it's your job now to get the conclusion of this thing. And trust me, brothers and sisters, you will have to war with this. Show, uh, if you can show me one time in the word of God where God gave them a word, they were able to just go there without a battle, then I'm done. Because the enemy will try to conflict you. But as long as you stay locked in to your word, trust me, you're going to come on up by it. Better than you were before you went in. Don't, don't, don't go out there and get so heavy that you can't. No, you talk to yourself. Yeah. And you tell yourself, oh, listen, we got this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, everything well for this. Because we got a word. Yeah. And all you need is a word. He said his word and what happened? He heals. It heals what? Oh. Listen, it heals what? Every disease. Every destruction. Every. So whatever is going on. If you lock into the word that he sent, and brothers and sisters, listen, yeah, if God wasn't talking in this house, T.I. would not be here himself. Because yeah, I'm, right. I'm not your traditional preacher. Thank you, God. And I ain't just looking to get up and just be trying to shoot a shot. <coughs> no, I seek God to give word for his people. Yes. You are his children. Yeah. And when I get on this floor, I got to come out here with something to help you get up. And that's why some people that pull on me cause me to go longer <coughs> than what I intended because somebody's hungry and they're pulling at me. God said, I'll pour water on a man that's thirsty. 
Mm -hmm. I'll pour it on you. So much so you won't even have room to receive them. And you'll walk out here so blessed. Yeah. Amen. Your stress days are over. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, May you be blessed all the days of your life with this life form. May the double, double increase this shower. Yes. Financial favor taking over your house. Hallelujah. Financial favor taking over your house. Blasting your house. Blasting out debt, worry, cares, concerns. He cut out. Receive it. Yes. Don't analyze it. Receive it. Mm -hmm. And so it is. I love y'all. It is something.